Thanks for checking out this artist chat. My name is Thomas Breeze Marcus, and I'll be discussing a little bit about my work and some of the inspirations behind it. I work mainly on canvas, but I also like to find or build three-dimensional objects that I can lend my style to. I'm also a large-scale mural painter, and I've been working with aerosol for close to 30 years now. I was born and raised in the Maryville neighborhood of West Phoenix. However, I also grew up on the Salt River Pima Maricopa community. My father is originally from the village of Wet Camp on the Gila River Reservation, and my mother is from a village called Arichukshon down on the Don Autumn Nation. This intricate style that I work in, I've been developing for the last 20 years. It's a direct influence of my experience as a graffiti writer and working with typography. A part of working with graffiti writing is pushing the boundaries of your letter forms. And at one point, I made the decision to sort of deconstruct the letter forms, and keep the basic components of it, but to start creating these abstract compositions and start this new visual language. The other main source of inspiration comes from the autumn basket designs and the concept of weaving. Recently, I've branched out into multimedia. Uh, I've been experimenting a lot with photography and video, as well as graphic design and animation. So it's been a new learning curve, but it's been really beneficial to help get so many different ideas out in different ways and to utilize these different platforms to tell stories about what's happening right now or creating new discussions about the continuum of these historical legacies. So whether it's through canvas or a large scale mural or photography, video, multimedia, sculpture, it's all relevant. One thing I hope the viewer can walk away with after seeing my work is the layers and the complexities. But beyond that, I hope to create sort of a reflection back onto the viewer and have them ponder a greater existence and also think about the inter interconnectedness of all things, the way indigenous people have always taught each other about our community and our surrounding environment and the natural world and how those things have been important to us and to our survival since the beginning of time. <laughs>